Hey there guys, how's it going? Andy1123 here. We are playing a custom campaign for Left 4 Dead 2 on the PC. This is called 2019-2, or I guess if you want to pronounce it the way it's written on the screen, 2019 to the, the second power. Um, oh, okay, so we're starting. Uh, we're going to pause it really quick just so I can get your little settings kind of set up here. Audio should be okay. I don't want it to be too loud, but then again, I don't want it to be too low. And we should be okay with there. So this is a custom campaign. This is a sequel to 2019, also for Left 4 Dead 2. Um, if you want to actually watch a video on that, I played it. I played it a while back with my friends. Um, I believe last year or close to earlier this year. Um, and you can just look find it on my channel. I'll probably put an annotation somewhere below in the video. So if you want to watch that too, um, but this is a sequel to it, made by the same person. And it seems like this one's more. Nick oriented or more focused on Nick the character because uh, the if you saw the little poster in the beginning it had kind of him in full sense oh shit okay Nick choking Ooh, seems like Nick might be dying or something reload everything's in slow motion I'm not doing anything I think it seems kind of hazy oh shit we didn't lose anybody the coach it's weird oh well, what's going on here is that Nick that's Nick I think oh shit that's Nick even though he's right behind us that's kind of weird oh, damn yo he is bruised and beat to hell but holy shit so something strange is going on here because Nick is right behind me we see him right there there's Nick what the hell um Okay, so little girl laughing and Nick is on fire. Sounds like the defib going off. <laughs> okay, so that was a uh, chapter one. Great. <laughs> that was kind of strange, but whatever. So we're just waiting for the second chapter to start. The Haven. And uh, today is July 4th, so let me just hold on. I'm sorry this happened. Hey, buddy, you all right? That helicopter crash was pretty bad. Oh, I'm fine. Whew, that's good. Let's get you on your feet. Huh. Holy shit. You guys need some supplies. Whoa! We have just the thing. Follow the only way out of the plaza and into the streets. We have a safe house there. We like to call it Haven. I'll tell the guys you're coming. All right. Whoa, okay, so that guy was talking without moving his lips and his eyes were missing texture. That is beautiful. But. Man, that was some shit. The pilot becoming a zombie right before our eyes. Okay, we've heard that story before. So, shit, I was saying something. Do you think we can trust that guy? Um, Oh man, he seemed like a good guy. I lost my train of thought. Whatever. Let's just go on with the chapter, with the campaign. Um, we're gonna go here. And let's see. So, oh yeah, I was saying, today is the 4th of July, so happy Independence Day, everybody. Or happy 4th of July, whatever you want to call it. Um, here in the good old US of A, if you're in other countries, well, you don't really have to care about it, because what do you care if it's not your country? But it's also, uh, the World Cup was going on today. Um, they're still going on apparently. Colombia was facing Brazil, and then last I checked, Brazil was winning 2-0. Uh, but whatever. So we'll see what happens. I'm kind of rooting for Colombia because they're the only country that um, I have any to I have left to root for. Uh, U.S. got knocked out on Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday probably was, and Uruguay was knocked out by Colombia um, last Saturday. <laughs> And the only reason I mentioned those two countries is because one, I was born in the U.S. Two, my mother is from Colombia. My three, my father is from Uruguay. So no more Uruguay, and it seems like it might be no more Colombia. I'm not really sure, as far as I know. Maybe when I'm done recording, I'll probably find out the stats and we'll figure out how dated this video becomes. Hey guys, you made it. Yeah. I never said my name. I'm Vargas, a guard for Haven. Vargas. I heard the explosion, so I came running to see what happened. Oh. Nice little cutscenes. That's so, I always like that. And little touch people add. There's a guy up there. Hey there, bro. None of these people have fucking textures in their eyes. Maybe you can't really tell from the video footage, but none of these people have eyeballs. 
Hey there, bro. Oh god, he has no eyeballs either. Boy, am I glad to see. Holy shit, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> well, what do I look like? Okay, I won't ask. You're looking for a way out of the city, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Listen, we're prepping a team to force our way into a military bunker just north of here. There's plenty of supplies and shelter for us. The entire area is clear of the infected for the most part. So it's mostly just a matter of blowing the blast door. It's six inch deep steel though, so it's gonna be a bitch to get open. Okay, okay, that's a start. What do you need? Well, great. Head to the door on the other side of the safe house when you're ready. We've got a team on standby, so when that door's open, we'll bring everybody there. Take hmm. a look around the safe house if you're so inclined. Ellis looked pretty beat up too. These are some custom models here, but why is it only Ellis and Nick that are all screwed up? Everybody else, Rochelle and Coach, look okay. Why are people glowing? Not a lot to do around here. But watch your back. I do appreciate how they couple. This seems like they put a lot of time into this. There's a lot of cutscenes, dialogue, custom dialogue to be, to be, in fact. But people's eyeballs are missing texture. It's kind of creepy. Holy shit. You better move along. It looks like you've got some important things to do. Okay. What do you got to say? Thank you. Okay. Um, you. Hey guys. Well, we've been losing a lot of people lately. I'm glad to see new faces around here. <laughs> I lost my family in the first few days of all of this. I don't care. I really miss them. Oh, I don't care. Med kits or pills? Okay. More pills? Uh, nice guns. Okay. We're grabbing the M16. We can probably open this up too. Let's get some boomer bio. And actually, no, I don't want a boomer bio. I want a pipe bomb. Ooh, laser sights. It's always a nice little addition. And I'll grab that katana. And we'll talk some some more people here. This guy looks like he's. Vi hey, look, this guy's fixing valve. He probably works for them. Oh God. Was that was that a stereotypical Japanese accent or Asian accent? Great. Hey, look! Holy shit! Are any of you whoa! Whoa! You're missing your arms! Holy shit! Okay, they got fixed. I'm not talking to any goddamn vampires. Hello! I'm Lewis. Well, this is Zoe and Francis. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. And not Bill, because he's dead when we recorded these lines. I Rochelle here with me, Coach and Nick. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Ellis stole a race car from the mall and drove it over some zombies? Yeah, you got that right. Do you want to come along with us? Hell, we can even leave Ellis behind to make room for y'all. Uh, hey, what? Fuck you. Thanks. Sounds good, but I think we're gonna stay on our own. Yeah, I'm starting to get that feeling myself. Can I talk to these guys individually? Bill doesn't give two shits about us. Zoe. Strange how, like, I guess they're trying to make this like a first meeting of them, but Zoe already knew an Ellis story. So it kind of doesn't make really much sense. What about this zone here? We could circle around and... No, I tried that area two days ago in scavenging. It's full of those special infected. Zone 1A is a no-go too. And just where the hell are we supposed to go? Yeah, I got nothing. Those two zones are supposed to be our infiltration points. <laughs> well, we could always go straight through. And waste ammo and lives? Doesn't look like we have much of a choice anymore. We don't have anything resembling much of a choice these days. That method's going to have to work. So, Dean, how's your squad? We're ready to go when Daniel gives the order. You? As ready as we'll ever be. Yeah. Never thought it would come to this. None of us did. This little arm over there is just fucking kind of... Eh, eh, look, I'm trying to look like I'm pointing out things on the map, but I'm not really. And there's a lady here. What's going What's your deal? What's your story, lady? Nothing. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so seems like I've talked to. Oh, Bill can be talked to now? No, you're a fucking liar. Okay, so it seems like I've done everything that I can do in here. Or at least worth my while. Oh, hold on. Did I talk to you? No, I did not. What's his condition? The bleeding. There's a lot of blood. His leg was blown off below the knee. Okay, then I'll try to stay calm. His only hope right now. The most important thing is to stop the bleeding. How? Do you have any towels or bandages? No, nothing. We're sitting under a bombed out highway. Uh, then use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and. Wait, something's coming our way. Hold on. Hold. Okay. He passes by. You need to tear off your sleeves. 
your sleeve into strips. You're going to make a tourniquet. just above his knee to cut off the blood flow. Tie it off in a knot. Some really good acting. I'll be, I gotta be honest with that shit. Okay. Seems like now we finally did everything we could. I guess we can continue. Or no, there's more. I think. You fucked. Okay, fuck it. I don't feel like listening to more people. We're gonna go here. I guess we're closing this door. R Hold on. Rochelle, get your bitch ass over here. Get in here, woman. That's how it's done, right? Yeah, I guess. Wow. So that was chapter two. Seems like, yeah, this is going to be a pretty big campaign. Um, even the first one was pretty decently sized. There was not much, uh, I guess, exposition or story to it. But it was pretty good. It was actually really good. We, I do enjoy that map a lot. And it's very pretty. Holy shit. It's a very bright colors out in the open it was a kind of like in a nice like futuristic looking kind of city-ish i guess that's the point of why it's called 2019 um but it does it is much more refreshing than playing on the same old dark carnival i guess that's like one of the main things that you get out of playing pc who are you sir you have no fucking eyes that's creepy radio check good everything's above board you're gonna see some infected along the team went through here earlier, but I swear to God, it's like you kill one of those things and two more take its place. Huh. I'll contact you if I need anything else. Okay. Dan I thought your name was Vargas. You lied to me, you bitch. Okay, so Hi, can brother. we break this? Nope. Okay. So we're gonna go. Oh, I like that. Emergency radio broadcast channel. I'll be coordinating the assault and relaying information on this channel. Alpha Squad, what's your status? This is Alpha Squad leader. We have the bunker and are on route to Infinity Street. No signs of infected yet. And we'll keep you posted. Alpha Squad out. That voice sounds very familiar. I'm gonna have to find out who that was. But alright, so let's continue. Yeah, let's get, this fucking custom has a... Very... Nice production value. Kill. Floating bodies. Can we open this door? No. There's something behind. Ah! Whoa, okay. Um. I guess we're not going that way. Shit. This way's blocked. Everyone died. Let's go up here. Kill. Ki kill. Bitch. What's in here? More pills. I don't need them. Got enough materials. Let's see. So, looks like we're in a building now. With a couple more zombies. Kill everything. Wait, did they actually shoot each other? Holy shit. The bots are pretty good about not shooting each other. This is glowing. Oh, ammo. Cool. Okay. Let's uh, reload again. Go this way. Oh, hi there. And... That guy. Found more survivors. Oh, you're just chilling up there. What's up, guys? How's the zombie apocalypse treating you? I'm fine. I'm just here being undead. Oh, or. 
You guys take care of that. Not gonna talk. Vargas, what are you doing here? Vargas, how are you doing that? Ghost shots. Alpha here. We're underground in the sewers. <laughs> Smells like shit down here. No. We're walking in it. We're near an exit and should be right below 21st Street. Alpha squad out. Doing a little exploration here, see what we got. Seems like not much over here, so... Building? No. Probably have to climb up here. Yeah, seems like it might be. Let's go. Or not. Can we crawl? No. Where are we going? Where did you guys come from? Let's see... Stop. Can't go here. For the looks of it, at least. Oh, okay, up there. And there we go. All right. Oh, hi there. You're dead. A lot of motherfuckers. You dead. Coming from behind us, okay. Ooh, hi there. Let's clear this room out a little bit before we continue. Can we go in here? Can we go in here? Can we? Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. Nope, okay. Reloading. Worth a shot. Bravo squad, I need a sit rep. Vargas here. Bravo squad said we're leaving already, but we're making progress. We sent Liam up ahead to stick up the bunker and watch for trouble. You bitch. Anything in here? It's a very shiny room. Some laminated walls or something. Is that a pipe? No, it's just a microphone. I thought it was a pipe bomb. Let's go this way then. Kill you. Oh, hi there. We've lost contact with Charlie's location. Kill you, kill you. Kill you guys there, kill you. Pretty much kill everybody. That's the whole point of the game. Anything that moves, you want to shoot it. Shoot it dead. Bitch. Do some more exploration here. Seems like we might got some might have something in here in this little tent. Oh, hi there. No, nothing in here. Liars. Let's see. Oh, medkit. Okay. Do I need a heal? What's my health? 92. I don't need to heal, but it doesn't hurt to heal. Wait a second. I got to heal. Um, uh, my phone is talking to me. No. Cancel. Turn that off. I don't think it actually picked up or anything. Uh, I have a Moto X and it has a feature where it'll talk to me when I'm at home kind of like, "Hey, hands free." Kill these guys, bam bam. So right now, um, if it wasn't obvious, we're just playing this for the sake of the story. I'm not trying to speed run it or anything like that. Um, I'm tr actually trying to enjoy what this game is trying to present to me. Because it's very interesting. I don't play too many narrative focused Left 4 Dead maps. You guys are spawning now. Because half these things were not here before. Reloading. Oh, okay, here. There's a little... Cedar. Oh. 
Reload! I'm on the rooftops now. No sign of any activity around the bunker. Do we have any pipe bombs? No. Um, we do have adrenaline. I'll take that instead. Let's go in here. It's a very angry sounding zombie. It's a lot of banging. Oh, they're probably banging the um, door that we closed behind them when we walked into that Cedar truck. Let's see. Anything in here? I see a tent. Place your low ammo weapon. Oh shit, I have barely any ammo. I don't want to replace it because then I'll lose the laser sight. I'm going to hold on to this. It's just melee for now. Haven't been hit by any special infected. I just realized that. No smokers, boomers, spitters, jockeys, hunters, nothing of that. And boop, boop. Just jump on all the heads, break my fall, break their backs. Okay. Hey, bro, how you doing? Oh, cutscene. Hey, survivors. Good to meet you up close. I'm Alpha Squad's leader. We're what's left of our squad after that bad run-in down in the sewers. Bravo Squad should be here any second. This is Bravo. We're making our way into the plaza. Don't fire. There you are, Vargas. I was starting to think you weren't coming to the party. It's good to finally meet up close again. So what's the plan? See those trucks over there? There's two of them. Enough for all of us to take to the bunker. Only question is if they still work. Can you check them out, Vargas? Gotcha. It's been hell these last few days. Yeah. We've lost more men than I can count. But now that you're here, we can finally make that last push to the bunker. Hello? Can anyone hear me? You're loud and clear, son. Speak up. We've got a serious problem. The helicopter is making another round. If we don't mobilize and make the last push now, we won't have another chance. Shit! There goes our timetable. Vargas, how's the trucks? Do I look like a goddamn mechanic to you? They run fine. Well, let's get going. Then. Well, technically, Ellis is a mechanic. He could have asked him to check it out. Me and Bravo Squad will hang back and take this truck back to Haven. We can load everyone into the truck, and once you guys give the word, we can be at the bunker in a minute. That's how it's done. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the safe room, I guess. 117 infected. Damn. But all right, so that was the third chapter. Yep, that's the third chapter. We're now loading the fourth one, uh, the bunker, from what it seems to be. Laser sights increase your weapon's accuracy. I didn't know that. But actually, I did know that. That's why I don't want to switch out my M16 for a shittier... Well, not a shittier. The AK is a good gun, but I already have the laser sight on the M16, and that makes it pretty powerful and accurate. Okay, before you bash me, no, the laser sight does not actually make your gun more powerful. It just makes it much more accurate, which in hence kind of makes it a little stronger because you're actually hitting what you're aiming at. What in the hell was that? There's the bunker. Oh, shit. The helicopter's found us. We don't have the firepower to take it down. We just gotta run. This is kind of weird. All squads forward assault to the bunker. No retreat. But okay, run away, boy. Ah! God, that's li hold up. Wow. Motherfucker, just blow my ears out, why don't you? <laughs> well. Whoa. Shit, okay. Seems like the helicopter is shooting at us, but... You are dead, sir. Oh, you're dead, too. This is all pre-rendered, I can obviously tell, but that's kind of... Oh! I'm not Nick, stop doing this to me. Fuck, these people do not like Nick. They keep... Putting him in the crosshairs and shit. Ooh, what's going on? Shit went down. Nick got hit. Is he dead? I guess we'll find out. 
Are these guys just gonna run over me? They're just gonna run past me. What assholes? Holy shit. It seems like that helicopter's a bad guy or something, cause it's shooting at us unless a special infected figured out how to fucking use equipment. <laughs> Okay, guys. Thanks. Thanks. For, thanks. For, yeah, that's what happens when you don't fucking pick pick up your teammates. You get blown the fuck up. Someone get this goddamn helicopter out of my sight. It's that you. I don't think you have to worry about sight, bro. You have no eyes. That's not gonna take down the helicopter, and if it does, I'll be so pissed off. Okay, the second dream. It seems like fucking Nick keeps dying or something, or like the whole point is that Nick is a fucking. Oh, he just looks for trouble or something. I can't think of the term. A glutton for punishment. There we go. Well, let's see what happens. This is the second dream. It's gonna be this whole slow motion shit again. There's a tree. Guess we can't go that way. I see Coach over there. Let's see what Coach has to say. Looks like he's looking at Nick's body over there. What's the matter, Coach? What happened? Coach. God damn it. Oh! Okay! Hey, Coach, you died! You didn't drop shit. Give me a hand here, please. Oh my God, it's him. The one in the white suit. Jesus Christ, what does he think he's doing? What? What? Okay, Nick is over there punching somebody. And that looks like it's... Oh shit, it's Alice. You better carry yourself. Now let's get you up. Oh! No! Now Alice is dead. Everything I touch dies. Ah. I'm not Nick though. It keeps putting me in Nick's fucking point of view. What is going on with this? What the like okay, Alice just died. Whoa, is that a it's a hunter. What the Okay, hold on. So Nick is here beating the shit out of this guy. Nick is also behind me. Technically, they keep putting putting me in Nick's shoes because they've been expecting me to play as Nick. And then I see over there, Nick is getting pounced by a hunter. These dreams are not dreams; they are fever dreams. What the f actual fuck? I guess we gotta save Nick. Is there anyone alive out there? Oh. Rochelle's dead too. Look at that, Rochelle. The gang's all here. We're all fucking dead. I guess we're going to that bunker over there. See what happens. Any day now. He's going for the door. Yeah, that's where we gotta go. Jump in slow motion. Uh, come on guys get in here get inside, ain't got all day or I guess we do got all day Nick is just fucking surprised by all this shit we are right damn good team. Whew, they better fucking have an explanation about what's going on here cause this is starting to get trippy So that was the second dream, and now it looks like we're doing the fifth chapter, the bunker. Kind of lost track, kind of lost count, but whatever. Let's we're gonna see what goes on here. Any day now. Any day. Yeah, no shit. Yay, we made it. But for how long? And considering how fucked up Nick oh, keeps getting.
Yeah, I guess we had no choice, being how this is the whole point of the game. Anything going on here? Nope, okay. Guess we're gonna skip this, go over here. Kill some more assholes. This is the... This is the same safe room from Coldstream. It's the bathroom right there. I have not used this pipe bomb in the entire game, so we're gonna go over here and use it there. Use the vial. Boop! And everyone dies. Except for you. Bitch! Just keep killing all these guys. Exposition. And is there anything in here? Pistol. Don't care for a pistol. Hmm. Seems like the voice acting is very hit or miss. Where the hell are you guys going without me? I'll stay for him. What the? These are very short chapters. Short chapters. We're gonna. Oh. There we go. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Wow. Oh, looks like we we reached the final, final chapter, the the finale. As, at least that's what it makes me believe it is called the end but hopefully they'll hopefully we'll find out what the hell is really going on here because it seems like Nick is going to die at the end maybe or something but all right let's finish this up let's finish up 2019 to Well, maybe if I heal you, you'll feel better. You haven't lost a lick of health, so fuck you. Oh, more cutscene. Shit. I'm looking at the security system for this base. It's on lockdown. None of the entries or exits, including that helicopter's blast door, can be opened. It's really not looking good for you four. We did manage to get in the base, and we've sealed the front door. Just... Give me a second and I can find some solution. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, I got one. This is gonna sound extremely dire, but you can... You can override the lockdown if... You can launch a nuke at the city. I've been going through the base's inventory and there's several Soviet-era warheads that can be ready for launch. I'm looking at the schematic of the base now, and it just gets worse. The launch room is too far away from the helipad, so... Whoever goes up to activate it, well, they're not coming back. Um, I'm sorry. It's the only way to escape. I'm not gonna make it much longer, my friends. I'm seriously screwed up. Nick! Go! We just need to be friends. Well, this is it. Let's not make it harder than it needs to be. So they're using sacrifice like mechanics here, but not really because I can't go in here because they obviously expect somebody to do this. So me being quote unquote Nick, I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> Would have been cool. Oh, fuck you guys. Wait, I don't think this is going to let me finish the campaign then. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's going to let me finish. So we're going up here. Oh no, I gotta be honest, that's a very shitty ending <laughs> in that sense. Hey. Uh, you. Don't press that button. 
You don't know what kind of apes these are. They'll destroy everything further. Lost the city. Don't listen to him. Do you want your friends to live? Launch the nuke. What the fuck? Oh, 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 what the hell are you guys doing here? Let's see, let's see, what am I going to do? Am I going to launch the nuke or am I going to get the fuck out of here? Ooh, decisions, decisions. You know what? I already committed to it. We're going to launch the fucker. See what happens. Good job. You just saved your friends. That bomb won't go off for another two minutes, so they should have plenty of time. By the way, I never did get your name. Nick. Nick, huh? Well, Nick, it was nice knowing you. What the fuck? That's kind of sad. And then he passes out? Maybe? Not maybe? Yep, yeah he does. Oh, there he goes. I guess he I guess he went down like a champ. But holy shit. That kinda took a weird turn there. The whole Soviet nukes and stuff. Let's see how this plays out. If we'll actually see an explosion. Oh. There there it is. Voices by Really? <laughs> This fucking song. Daniel Thomas. Hmm. No, I don't recognize any of these people. I thought I did, but I guess not. This fucking song. The apocalypse. Whoa! I might have to cut this short because I don't think I'm allowed to play this in the background. Okay, so hey guys, we're back. Um, <laughs> you thought I was going to end it in that fucking th note? No, 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 no. What we're going to do is we're going to go... We did. We, did, we launched a nuke last time. Nick kind of, kind of fought a good fight. And that was it. And yeah, let's get over here. So I started a, a, a new chapter or a new game. And I'm Nick this time to kind of make everything right. But this time we're going to go see what happens if we save ourselves. Or go through this little grate. See what happens. That was fucking anticlimactic. Oh, yep, that was it. Okay. So, that was 2019 too. Very interesting campaign. Um, the ending was, I guess you could say, like, if you go with the one with the nuke, it was pretty, pretty out there or something interesting or new, I guess. I never played, never saw that before in a campaign like this. Um, but I guess it's, it was a good campaign for what it was. It was pretty fun. Um, I did find it interesting how there were no custom, I mean not custom, um, no special infected to be found anywhere. I Nothing really came at us, no tanks, no nothing like that. So, eh, I guess it, oh shit, hit the microphone again. I guess I've, it, it kind of pales in comparison to the original 2019 when you compare them in the sense of content. Um, obviously this one was much more narrative based, it was much more story based. Um, big story to it. Just kind of strange. I guess I gotta get used to it but overall I did I did enjoy it so if you guys want to play this one as well um, I will put a link in the description below on how to on where to go and download it and you can it's pretty easy to download these things there there's guides all over the place you can just Google but yeah so that was 2019-2 for Left 4 Dead 2 on the PC thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video um, you can go ahead and give me a like if you want I'm not forcing anybody can't really force you to like or comment or subscribe or even marry the video for that matter um but if you do want to show your support that really helps it shows that hey 
maybe maybe I'm doing something right, maybe I'm doing something wrong. It's up to you guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.